Hi there, I'm Simon, and this is Wissen and Artifact. It's an expansion for a game I've already recorded called uh, Zauber, Schwert und Drachenei. I know that means magic sword and dragon egg. So if you're familiar with Game of Thrones, that has a kind of similarity. This game came out about 2003, uh, which was after, obviously, Game of Thrones, the books started to come out. Like that edition, uh, this edition um, is also in German and in English. And this is going to be an unboxing. So we're going to open this up. And I was going to use a scalpel, but uh, it looks like or a box cutter. It looks like I can actually do this uh, just with my fingers. So let's see if I can get it to do it. Now, this was before done by a different publisher, which I thought it was Avika Spieler and Longspiel, whereas this is Schmidt. So it's a different uh, company. And uh, you've seen some of the Schmidt games that I've um, recorded, including... Um, well, Knock Mal is the most obvious one, but let's take a look at Wissant and Artifact. So this will add to our deck. We're now increasing the amount of cards that we have. I recall, I think it was 24 to 48 cards. So this will add some more cards. This will add to the duration, add to the engine building modes of it. As you can see, it's a tiny game. It hardly takes up any space. And uh, as you can see, yes, you're going to need that with it as well. Uh, same designer. This is, I think, uh, regarding the best. This regards the best uh, expansion, in fact, for the game. And if you can recall the other game and watch the other video, if you haven't, uh, please do check it out. Type in a mass games Draken or Zalvechvelt and Drakenai. A mass games and Drakenai will get you there. Then this is all about probably getting in more artifacts. Nothing in English on the back compared to the alternative. It's Anspruch. I mean, the complexity is the same. The luck's the same, which is low. High tactics, again, strategy is uh, slightly more. And Unsbrook, I can't recall, but it's at a slightly higher level than the prior game. So it's uh, adding a bit more to it. Let's see if these, yep, the inside cards as well are also shrink-wrapped. This was in shrink as well, although unfortunately uh, I wasn't recording videos back then. So empty box now, and here it is, everything put together. So it uh, looks like either you can recycle it or something to that effect. Let's see if we can start um, taking this apart again. And is it surely, there we go, I can feel something. So I know nothing really about what this game is about or the expansion. So it's playing instructions. In fact, this feels a lot thinner. So German, German, German. And it looks like it's uh, yeah 15 pages. So um, a sample of the base game. So I've got the basic game here. Is required. You may also combine it with expansion heroes and magic spells uh, in order to distinguish the cards on this expansion. Uh, it can be marked as a certain thing as well, which is this symbol down here. So you know how to separate it back. Now the other expansion, um, as I've got a slightly lower rating at the time that I remember researching it, this does contain eight artifact cards. So we get some more of them. Twenty-three adventure cards. They're going to be fun. Uh, we get an adventure card forge, which has got something on the back of it. A landscape card. Temple, reinforcement cards, eight of them, 21 knowledge level cards, a magician set, and a protection card, plus these playing instructions. So um, the news gets around quickly that the secret access to the old library of bygone magicians has become rediscovered. Long lost knowledge arouses the interest of Alo Homar's magicians, since the studies of old books is the open sesame to all magic spells. Some of them even set out for the lava forge that is situated near the volcanic crater. They have had their artifacts uh, refined there in order to have a better chance of emerging victorious from a battle with a black dragon. The dragon's charmer's courage will be rewarded by the dragon's shell. Henceforth, its owner, owner is nearly invincible. So, as to play the game, that's going to come in another video. We'll just take a quick look at these cards. So we have some phases. So phases A, B, and C appear. We've got uh, this card, uh, which is all in German. We have phase B, so I think it's the same amount of expansion cards. This looks very nice. Finally got some eggs. So something about probably tier three. Certain things that we'll need to get done. We've got some uh, magic points. Some of these artifacts to complete. Nice, hard, shiny cards that feel slightly thicker, I think. Um, something going on here that you must remove something. Two, if it's two people, you lose a, a magic point, or maybe it stops losing a magic point. You're going to get a magic point here. Uh, nice artwork. I think that was found on the box, pretty much. 
Um, Paladin, wow. Well, Paladins of the West Kingdom. That's a new game from uh, Shim Phillips. Uh, look, for, look forward to checking that out. I think it was Garfield Games. Uh, some happens to be of relevance. We've then got something here to the eyes. Draken, well, I'm say tongue or glass. Shupa, don't recognize the word Shupa. I only know about 1,200 German words, words accurately, so I'm not certain on all of them. Um, 20% of the English language is German. Got this beautiful looking weird spiky thing down here. Again, fight this off, need 12. Get 10 victory points, I think, if it's just you alone. Um, you could be losing it though, I'm not sure. Something to this two business. More of these things. So again, the cards have German text on it, but the English is available. Of course, I could sleeve this, it wouldn't then fit in the box. But then what you get the benefit is, is seeing that hand refers to the rule book. But once you play this, you know, once, two, or twice, thrice, you'll have an idea of what I'm meant to be doing. So this is um, the expansion. This is Wissen and Artifact. Let me chuck everything back in a box just to ensure that you can see it fits in well together. And I might well play this um, tonight, in fact. There's a chap who enjoyed this game very much. We played it as a two. I played it three and four. And uh, everyone did enjoy that game. So we might well choose to see what the expansion brings to the table. Um, as you maybe have spotted from the descriptions, I do cycle or try to cycle occasionally. I was cycling earlier and this will be a nice game to prove that I don't need to carry much with me to cycle. So I expect the weights to be almost identical. If you recall watching the videos on TKO, then yes, they were exactly 25 grams each time. I expect this to be very similar. I could have weighed it with a wrap on, uh, but we'll keep an eye and see what it comes in at. So putting this oh, right away, quite tightly packed, but maybe it is gonna weigh a bit more. My guess is it a gram less. We'll look before and after. So 115, that's what you're looking to carry. This feels a bit thicker. Oh, it's also 115. So even with a wrap on, I don't think it's gonna make much difference. Well, actually, now it's gone up a gram. So, minor difference. But now we're just uh, getting to semantics. But this is what we're talking about. We're going to ask about the expansion for Zalversfurt and Draconai. And I look forward to telling you what I think. So, uh, watch out for that how to play video. To do that, make sure you are supporting to and subscribing. And by doing that, please do hit that icon to ensure that you'll be notified as soon as it comes out and you'll be the first to give some comments as to what you thought of it. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.